Okay, the next drill we're doing is high knee to high knee, adding in the ankle weights to make this drill a lot more challenging. The recommended weight for the ankle weights for a high school kid would be the max of two and a half, three pounds would be the most I'd put on a high school player's ankles. Younger kids, we recommend a pound to two pounds. That would be for your junior high age. All right, so we do this drill, we put ankle weights on both the front and back foot. Now the setup for this drill, Amy's going to be in the open position. She's going to put all her weight on her back right foot and take her left leg and in a high knee position. Her arms are going to be straight out in front. Excellent. Amy's going to kick out and finish her back leg into a high knee position after finishing throwing the ball. When Amy drives out, she wants to make sure her front foot is a 45 degree angle and really works on snapping that hip quickly to get that explosion and quick, quick close of the shoulders. Excellent, nice balance. On this drill, Amy, you can kick out that knee a little bit higher. Remember working on that, that front knee getting up higher for explosion. Excellent. As they get better at this drill, you even have them pick up the speed even quicker so they can really work on closing the hip as fast as possible. And watch putting the ball and glove together. You're going to separate, otherwise you're closing those shoulders too soon. Key stay open in the open position. There you go. Excellent. Once again, with this drill, we recommend eight to ten reps. If the pitcher has never done this high knee drill before, it is suggested that they try it first without the ankle weights. It is extremely important for the pitcher to get the form correct and to have proper balance. At the finish, the back knee should be held up high parallel to the ground with the knee at a right angle. The toes should be up and the pitcher should be able to hold that position for two to three seconds.